basically pointing to the snapshot blocks, and now we're just going to just manage in 4K blocks of uniqueness for the clone that you created. So, so I'll, while there was no data on this disk where I created this directory, um, I'm not actually re writing over the original disk. It's I've got this hybrid construct of reading from the original blocks, but writing net new unique blocks within the aggregate so that I can serve this object. Does that that make sense, or did I get too out too far out there? No, Vaughn. I think you did. Hey, Vaughn. Uh, uh, you know, Kelvin brought up a question about taking multiple tools to create these LUNs and, and the complexity. And could you just go over, you know, exactly the number of tools that you've used to do this, and, and you know, with Server Manager and with NetApp System Manager? Yeah. So, so um, we did demonstrate earlier, Kelvin. We did demonstrate Systems Manager. Actually, you should see that LUN, that uh, snapshot LUN that I made. Yeah, right there's the snapshot LUN. Um, this is Systems Manager, which would really be um, a replacement for Filer View. Um, it, it, in, in my fault on this is I should have had a number of systems in the demo populating this left-hand pane here. But um, as you can see here, it, it covers everything that's available to you in Filer View in a much more uh, intelligent and intuitive means. And as a matter of fact, there's a number of things that are in Systems Manager that you can't do with the current version of Filer View now. So that I don't get in trouble with my Filer View team. Filer View is is uh, my understanding is Filer View is being refreshed, um, and so if you love the Filer View interface, um, you should see an update to that uh, in the fairly near future. But uh, what we are seeing from more customers is is a, a, a demand for a single pane of glass management tool, and Filer View is not that. Filer View is an array by array based management tool. Okay. Um, so let me let me jump out of this. If we, if well, anyone else want to see anything else on Windows while I'm here? Okay. One last point. So this 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 tool itself, um, Snap Drive, and the management of LUNs um, does support additional features like um, resizing the disk um, live while the system's running and actually having I/O going on it. Uh, we can uh, both increase and decrease the LUN size. So um, there's actually a demo. Um, online that, that shows a, a decreasing of system live. Um, again, just like with the flexible volumes, we will not allow you to um, resize the, the LUN below the amount of uh, storage that's actually sitting inside of the LUN. Um, but as you can see here, much like, like tools that people have used in the past, um, like a um, you know, disk copying tool, etc., we can just simply move our slider, uh, right-click on it, and now I've actually change the size of the production line to 729 megabytes, but you'll actually see the, the clone that was taken when the, the disk was 1 gig is still sitting at 1 gig, right? So whatever we do to the parent doesn't change what's going on with our clones. Again, we're, we're, our parents are based off of, our clones are based off of a, a point-in-time image, right? And they're their own unique entities now. Okay. Close that. Uh, I'll close this um, So now I'm going to switch into to, to vSphere a little bit, and I'm going to show you two tools. Um, and to do that, we have to open up the vSphere client. Now, this first tool I'm going to show hey, Vaughan, you is a, is, is Vaughan, a, Vaughan, go ahead. Excuse me. Uh, it, there was a question uh, from Ferry. It says the, the file system supports shrinking. Oh, yes. So um, that's a great question. That actually requires a little bit of more detail that I'm probably not armed with. If someone wants to dig into this while we're hosting this call, um, hint, hint, Chris. Or Larry, um, yes, the file system um, supported the shrinking of the LUN, um, but I will admit that I would need to have one of us double check and see if that's what the restrictions are around what type of file system. I realize that the partitions are PT, um, I know that they're formatted with NTFS. Um, But I don't know if GPT is the restriction on. In other words, if you do a um, uh, what is it, a traditional primary per partition, I don't know if that's supported or not. So MBR versus um, GPT. I believe it is for both. Yeah. If, if maybe someone wants to dig into that on the, the, the side, that would be great. Sure. Okay. Any other questions, Chris? I'm sorry if I went too fast. Um. It's a, one question is, will the system manager be available for the V-Series filers? Oh, Do you want to talk about question. what a V-Series is? 
great question. So today, Systems Manager supports fast controllers, um, but NetApp provides the storage virtualization and all the management tools for our customers and our partners who uh, or our customers who have purchased storage arrays from our competitors slash partners um, who would like to have some of this capability. So um, one of the things that I had shared with Calvin when we were when he was so gracious to accept this WebEx, I said, you know, we've got a large number of customers who standardize. They they purchase HP storage. And we actually partner together so the customers can actually buy data on tap and have the storage management capabilities through what we call a V series, which is basically a gateway controller. And that allows the customers to leverage their volume purchasing discounts and keep their standards all intact with their HP systems, but allow them to enable some of these features um, should they have a business requirement to do so. There are no capabilities in terms of, of restrictions on functionality between a V-Series and what I'm showing you with, within Data on Tap, uh, with the exception of uh, a tool here or there that's done on the supported list. It is my understanding that that support is, um, a lack of support is going to be addressed and clarified here in, um, in the very near future, and I will blog on it once it's available. Hey, uh, this is uh, Steve Spinkner, who uh, I, I work in NetApp Engineering on System Manager, and that is correct. We have a 1.1 1 .1 release coming early 2010 that will support V-Series. Thanks, Steve. And now, and now Steve's going to beat me up for... No, no, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Systems Manager has is, is, been very, very well received within the field, so I, th I think everyone likes the elegance of the, the simplicity of it.